guys, it's Brad and Tia here from Odyssey Adventures. Uh, just a bit of a rig rundown today. Uh, we just started the channel, so we're new to everything. Uh, we're just doing what we love and loving what we do. Um, we'll just start off running through the car. Uh, we're going to start with the front end. So we have the, the powerful 4x4 ball bar here. Serves its purpose well, no complaints. Only had this car for about three months, so it's not really in detail as of yet. Um, at the front for lighting, we have the seven inch light force spotties. That's basically all I have at the moment in means of lighting. Um, I do want to get a roof tray and the light bar mounted to the top, um, and I will get that. Just um, at some stage, I will do it. Um, so we have the uh, three mil stainless steel custom off-road um, bash plate here. We just have the two pieces. So we have the front, and then we have the, um, the middle section. Um, a bit dirty at the moment, so you can't really see it. Uh, just move on to the side, guys. Not really too much to explain here, other than we are running. 2 inch Outback Armour suspension kit, um, I did have 31 inch tyres originally, now I've upgraded to 33 Mickey Thompson's Deegan 38's, only had them for about a month, um, they're mud terrains, a lot noisier than what I was uh, originally expect expecting, but um, that's what you get, it serves its purpose and serves it well. Um, so we have the Rhino Rack um, up here mounted, we have the awning, so we have the ARB Touring Awning. I didn't really want to go cheap, um, I was looking at Kings originally, but decided to end up going ARB um, because quality, uh, basically, you get what you pay for. Um, Next, we'll head towards the back. We have the EGR canopy. This was already on the car when I bought it uh, three months ago. So, basic canopy. Nothing really in the back. Just have storage box, max tracks. Um, we have compressor and recovery kit and all that in the storage box. Um, got a tub liner. Um, Obviously, I thought that's not enough, and I've got a rubber mat on top, but I think it's a lot better. Um, Non-slip for when you chuck the dog in there and stuff like that, so she's not slipping around. Um, that's about it, guys. Just got the got the Heyman Reese for towing. There's the back armor there. Yeah, got the Heyman Reese. Um, we have a little 3.5 meter tinny, so we just tow um, sometimes, obviously use that. It's got a step which is real handy, get up the top when you're cleaning. Yeah. Alright. Um, oh, we need to go exhaust. So we have the 3 inch red back exhaust all the way through. Um, that's that was already on there when I bought the car. Of course, the drift and mud flaps kind of kind of tops it off, in my perspective. Um, that's a tough terrain snorkel. That was already on the car when I did buy it. Service purpose, all well. Did want to go um safari, but I might stick to this. Um. Yeah, so we'll just go inside. Just got the uh, the black duck seat covers. Uh, they're the four elements, I believe. Good for jumping in and out of the car, dirty and all that. Yeah. Um. So this is an MN model Triton. This is 2012. Um, I did buy this car, what, three, four months ago. 
Um, I have had one issue with it, and probably a bit of a bigger issue. So we were towing the tinny originally when we picked up the tinny. Um, so we had overheating, as some of you probably know, the MN Triton do have problems overheating. Um, so obviously popped up, error. Pulled up on the side of the road, coolant, um, bubbling over the full level. No good. We decided to stop, obviously. Um, got the roadside assistance fella. Just give, give his take on how everything would play out and what we should do. Uh, we were 120 k's away from home at that, that stage, out Sunshine Coast. Um, we decided we'd end up kind of pushing home, just keeping our uh, rev range low. Um, that following day, I took the car to uh, uh, Mitsubishi. They did a stress test and decided it failed. So I was, I was actually kind of happy with that because I didn't want it overheating constantly when we're doing our um, normal travels as we do. So that didn't pass, obviously. Um, I ended up getting a full long engine rebuild, which um, I'm pretty lucky I got. Um, just basically means brand brand new engine, kind of. They put all the, the old bolts and everything back on. Um, and the car's going to keep going for, for years to come, so I'm happy with that. Um, other than that, guys, that's basically everything we've done. Just a, just a mud paddle back there, so obviously a bit dirty. We just did Ipswich. So as you can see up here, got some hills. That's the, the power station at uh, Swan Bank, I believe. Um, so we can come through at Red Bank, and we're coming out Swan Bank. So it's a, a, a cool little track, not really hard, just something to have a bit of fun and, and get dirty. I was kind of hoping it would rain, but um, it is what it is. Cheers guys, have a good one, take care.